I mean, no different. I mean, same thing, same goals as offense, same goals as defense, special teams. We're out there having fun, playing for each other, communicating, and that just comes out with a victory. You, know, you guys are working with the crowd noise today. Well, what are you expecting from I mean, your first real road test this year in front of you know one of the best crowds in college football? I mean, everybody knows about Death Valley. It's one of the places that's going to be rocking all night long. And with the noise, we're going to be prepared and still working on our communication. That, that's what really helps us with communicating, but hand signals and things like that. So we're going to be prepared this week. I mean, I mean in every conference in you got LSU Alabama this weekend. For a couple of years, it was Oregon Stanford. You know, Baylor, TCU. What does it mean for the conference to have a consistent rivalry like Florida State and Clemson has become? I mean, it's, it's, it's real good. You know, it's always good to have competition inside your division. And it, and it just helps us good and build our name as a whole, as a whole division to get out and expand our, our horizons as well. Their, their defense has been one of the best in the, in the country all year long. What have you seen from, from them that, that makes them as good as they are? I've seen them with them. They're uh, big, strong, fast, physical guys, very technique sound, and they're, they're very they're explosive off the ball. They, they're they very eager to make plays, and, and, and they're going to be a great, great defense to play this Saturday. As far as the, this past weekend with, with Dalvin out and Jarquez stepping in the way that he did, how would you assess his, his performance? Jarquez did all. Awesome job doing that. Prepared all week, man. I mean, he really did step up because we do have the next man up, and Jack West did the great thing, and he had a great ball game. Big shout out to him. And with with, with Dalvin coming back, whether it's this week or later on this season, mm -hmm. what kind of element does he add to the backfield? Oh, uh, you know, element. He he's, he's, he may not be practicing, but he's out there cheering on the running backs. I mean, when the running backs come off the field, he's the first one to greet them and and tell them what they did wrong and tell them what they did right. So he, on the field, he's helping them on the, off the field. They're up there breaking down film. So it's like he's still practicing with us. And what, what does it mean to, to add, add Jarquez into that mix now that he's proven to, to Coach Fisher that he can go out and, and handle the load? It's good. You know, we can hit him with Dalvin with the speed and the power. Then you hit him with Jarquez, the other right hook. So it's good to have like a dual threat back there. What do you tell these offensive linemen who haven't played in a game like they're going to play where they're not going to be able to hear each other, you're going to have to go a lot of silent. I mean, the offensive line we got now, they, they, they know what we're going to get into this weekend. But it's just all about communication. I tell you, that's all it is, communication and our basic fundamentals, and that's what's going to get us through the game.